Okay, we're back at Costco, and Costco has a lot of supplements that a lot of people will like to take. And we tend to trust a lot of things that, that Costco does, and there are a lot of things we can trust, but we're gonna read some ingredients on, on some things that I think are gonna help you out and be able to make better decisions. So, here we go. Okay, liquid IV. A lot of people, and this is a really popular product, hydration multiplier. So what they're trying to say is that you can get the most out of what you drink and you're going to actually end up retaining water. Now, if you're drinking enough water to begin with, you will flush out your toxins and you'll actually retain the amount of water you're supposed to retain. But this is telling you you're gonna retain more water, which, you know, could cause bloating. This is really just a, this is a marketing strategy here. If we look at the ingredients, um, the ingredients in here are, so the first things on the label, pure cane sugar and dextrose. Dextrose is another form of sugar and then citric acid, typically derived from corn and typically derived from um, uh, GMO corn. They're saying this is not GMO, so maybe that's non-GMO corn. Um, and then straight up salt, potassium citrate, which is also that helps with the tartness of it. Um, and then potassium also, that's gonna be the form of um, the uh, electrolyte that they're putting in here. So now potassium and then sodium and then uh, dipotassium, I can't pronounce all of these, dipotassium phosphate, silicon dioxide, stevia leaf natural flavor that's where we don't really have to tell you what we have in there we're just gonna put natural flavor vitamin c and then you have all these b vitamins in here and some of these forms of b vitamins they're not the most highly absorbable ones so there's some better absorbing forms of d vitamins out there and um and that will be for another video, but these aren't really the, the best forms. But um, the bottom line on this particular product is that it's all sugar and it's 11 grams of sugar per packet, which is two and a half teaspoons of sugar. So that's a lot of sugar. If you really want a good electrolyte drink, something that's solid and you're not really sure, you literally could just take good, solid, pure, unrefined sea salt and put a little bit of that in water. And that will actually do a lot better than this because then you're not getting all the sugar. Um, sugar does cause water retention because it will create more of a toxic load. It will drive your blood sugar up and your body's going to want to retain water because it's gonna to try to get rid of all of that toxicity. So people who are pre-diabetic, we often see that they're very inflamed because their body's holding onto water, trying to dilute the toxins, specifically the sugar. So um, this is not one of my favorite products at all, although it gets a really great marketing strategy uh, alongside of it because the label you know, says non-GMO, uh, vegan, gluten-free, dairy, you know, it's, it's making itself look really good, but um, this would be a thumbs down for me, okay? Okay, another really popular product here is their organic protein. So a lot of people will just say, oh my gosh, it's organic and it has superfoods. Oh, and it's plant-based and there's only one gram of sugar. But now what we need to do is figure out what does this mean? You can really never take what you're seeing on the label at face value. Literally, you've got to turn it over and you have to look at what's happening on the label. So on this particular label, um, first of all, it's 300 milligrams of sodium, and that's just a crazy amount of sodium. I'm not sure what they're using. We're going to come down here. This has right here, this has erythritol. Erythritol is a sugar alcohol, which causes a lot of digestive upset in people. So <clears throat> let's go through this, and then we're going to come back to the erythritol and the sugar alcohols. So this particular label, when I went through it, they're, yes, they're using organic pea protein, organic rice protein, so that does make it vegan, organic chia seed, that sounds really good. And then what will happen is you'll read all of this and you'll go, oh my gosh, quinoa, millet, buckwheat, uh, garbanzo bean, it sounds really good. And somewhere in here, because I read it ahead of time, is the erythritol. They'll sneak it in here somewhere. It does also have stevia in it. And uh, so what happens is, because most people don't know what erythritol is, is their eye just goes through it because all this window dressing makes it look really, really good. Now the problem with erythritol being a sugar alcohol, and there's other sugar al alcohols, 
xylitol, maltitol. Erythritol is one of the most common additives in a lot of products. So you really want to watch for that because oftentimes what will happen, I'll get people who have a lot of gut issues, digestive upset, um, you know, not having regular bowel movements, or they're just really uncomfortable, bloated on a daily basis. And, and I will see if I take an x-ray, I'll see all of like their, their intestines look like they're blown up like a balloon, like sausage balloons. And then I'll start asking about the products that they're taking. And oftentimes they're having products that have sugar alcohols in them. So erythritol and other sugar alcohol alcohols can be really upsetting to your gut microbiome and really affect your body's ability to digest and absorb food and of course just make you feel comfortable there's a lot of other great products on the market that don't have sugar alcohols but you have to really dive deep on this label to make sure that you can find those little tiny buzzwords that could potentially affect you it, it looks really good on the outside but you got to flip that label over all right so um so again if you don't have trouble with erythritol this isn't the worst of any products that you can take but I would say that if you have any digestive issues whatsoever, any gut issues, excess bloating, water retention, inflammation, or any inflammatory autoimmune issues, things like that, I would probably avoid this and find something that doesn't have sugar alcohols in it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna show you my favorite snack, or one of them at least. Costco does have some really good products and some really great snacks. This one you really only find around the holidays, so check this out. Okay just pure organic roasted chestnuts. They come in these little packets and I can just eat them right out of the packet. They're so, so yummy. So um, you've got let's see, five pieces, it's 80 calories and they're pretty rich. So you really don't need much more than that. But, um, but low in fat, one gram of fat. They are a little high in carbohydrates, um, you know, a couple grams of protein there. But look at this, here's the ingredient label, just organic chestnuts. They're kind of sweet too, so this really actually can satisfy a really, uh, you know, a, um, a sweet craving. And if you just want a really yummy snack, um, this is definitely, yeah, I'm giving that a thumbs up for a good snack. It does say guiltless gourmet, and I would say this is guiltless all day long. Yeah, like I say, I just eat them straight up like that. Okay, now everybody's gonna wanna get fit to come in the new year. And so here's another product that's going to potentially dupe you. So I want you to be really careful about stuff like this because there's a lot of them along this bank here. Okay, so Robert Irvine. Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch now. High protein baked bar, it looks super yummy, doesn't it? And he's pretty buffed. So um, I'm gonna guarantee you he's not eating this stuff every day because this stuff is absolute garbage. That's a major thumbs down. Let me show you what's going on here. So you can look here and you go, oh, it's 16 grams of sugar, um, protein, three grams of sugar, but, uh, but let's look at what's really in this. So this is where, you know what, uh, we're just gonna bypass this and go right here. There's a protein blend on here and uh, there's a lot of oils in it. And then he's got, um, Sorbitol, it's another form of sugar. There's straight up sugar. There's maltitol. And remember I told you about sugar alcohols, sorbitol and maltitol. So two sugar alcohols in here causing digestive upset. There's then glucose syrup. That's sugar syrup. We keep going and there is um, there's soybean oil. So soybean oil is one of the worst oils you can consume. Sucralose, that is Splenda. So not only do you have regular sugars, sugar alcohols, and then artificial sweeteners that are horrible for you, those all will um, affect your, again, your gut microbiome, cause digestive upset. And there's nothing nutritional about this. And I don't know how you're gonna get fit eating this garbage. Um, I don't really even need to go further, but you know, I'm just going just for you guys. But anyway, um, yeah, made for anyone, anytime, anywhere. Yeah, if you wanna get fat and be unhealthy, this one right here. This is horrible. I can't believe, that I would never put my name on anything like that. And I wanna know how much money he's getting paid for that because that's, this is this stuff is awful. Thumbs down major. And then, um, but then you come over here and you've got these bars. Now these are actually really good. If you've, if you've ever tried these, these are really delicious. They're minimal, they're literally exactly what it says right here. So these are sweetened with dates. No BS, so that's it. So egg whites, almonds, you know, whatever it is, nuts, dates, egg whites. So um, again, you know, you're gonna get some sugars from the 
from the dates that are in here, but you're not getting any artificial sweeteners. They are all natural. And um, so dates, egg whites, cashews, almonds, chocolate, natural flavors, you know, that could be slightly questionable and sea salt. But if you have a little sweet craving, I, I, this, this one right here, this one's gonna be so much better for you. Um, you know, again, you're not really eating these for good health, so you wanna keep that in mind as well. Um, they're pretty high in carbohydrates, 23 grams of carbs, um, 12 grams of protein, so pretty worthy, but that's all because of all the nuts in there. But, um, but again, you know, not every day, this would be a treat or a snack, kind of, a, you know, more of a clean treat if you're looking for something like that. This, definitely not that. This, yes. Okay, that's it for your supplement shopping today. You're all gonna be out looking for supplements when you come into the new year because everybody wants to become healthier. So make sure that you're buying things that don't have these added artificial ingredients as well as like mass quantities of sugar because they are not going to serve you. They're not gonna help you get healthy. They're really only gonna continue to disrupt your, your gut and that's gonna disrupt your ability to um, to digest and absorb your food properly. So anyway, please leave a comment. If you like this, let me know. If you have any questions on anything you are taking, you wanna know, is it clean, is it not? Uh, let me know, Give, put a, leave a comment below and I'd love to help you out. All right, see you on the next one. Thanks for being here.